And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Draven Overwhelm. Bring this deck back that we played about four days ago. It felt really good. Um, and I really like Crystal Ibex. Crystal Ibex is just a really neat card. You know, play, grant an ally, Overwhelm. So we're going to try this version out again. I was impressed with the Taric Draven deck we played yesterday that was very similar. You know, we went 5-0 with our Taric Draven. But we're going to go back to playing... Um, our overwhelm things. We got Kato, we got Darius, we got Crystal Ibex, which really helps out Reckless Trifarian, right? Because usually Reckless Trifarian, not a very playable card, how it can only affect combat um, half of the time, only when it's attacking, and it's very easy to block as well. But Crystal Ibex giving it overwhelm, Kato the Arm giving it overwhelm, makes it a little bit more difficult. Pill Cascade, also just an all-star um, here with coming from Targon. Um, and then, you know, we're playing a second Captain Farron at the top end. Last time we only played one and we played a third Legion Saboteur. This time we're going to get a second Captain Farron because that's just such a good finisher. All right, but let's go play these games over in ranked. We're going to go play our five. We'll see how we do. Oh, there's Puppy. <laughs> Hi, Puppy. Puppy's a fan of Crystal Ibex. All right, playing against a deck that blocks very well. So we're going to need Overwhelm to help get our things through. And that's what we got here. So Demolitionist on turn two, killing the Saboteur isn't great. But you know what? Maybe we just do that. No one's the wiser. <laughs> Even the dogs like Draven. No wonder he's so self -centered. Take the damage. The, the damage doesn't matter on their side. That could be good. We shall weave our own destiny. I'm gonna play the Draven to keep them from attacking. They attack again, an additional spinning axe. Okay, or we don't don't keep them from attacking. We'll get an additional spinning axe. Maybe I just use this one here, actually. Now we're cooking. Yeah, let's just use that here. Keep them from doing any kind of healing. Temporary sustenance, child. So this tech's not the best for me. You are better than this. They're down to eight. But of course we're trying to Um trying to win the game quickly. Raven. We'll have Kato on their turn, Kato on my turn, and hoping double Kato kills them. That's my hope. How is your flock, little shepherd? They're stronger every day, just like me. Who gets tossed? The star child. I'll clear a path. Yuck. Good to see you too, Vin. Not attack I'm expecting. Live with purpose. Wasn't expecting them to let me kill Tom Kench. I apologize to your parents. I'll protect you. Ours is the one true light. The Star Child. I'll clear a path for you. Good to see you too. Alright, so we'll have Kato support Kato. Okay, 
Kato support Kato, who supports the Solari Soldier, make that thing a 6-3 Overwhelm. Please don't hurt them. Yuck. You are better than this. Hmm. That's a good turn for them. That's a great turn for them. Another obstacle. Don't touch my flock. Yeah, not, no, looking, the stars. not looking good for me now. Osu, help! Please don't hurt them. Osu, help! Because the, the attack and full heal probably going to give them enough with Star Spring. I think. I'm still good to scrap. Yeah, this is this does not look good. I'll handle this myself. Mystical levitation requires concentration. Go, Flavuya, we scrub. Be at peace. Take heart. Live with purpose. All right, well, we can't block. You pay. I talk to spirits. Mm. These are my rules. That's twenty one. Alright, GG's. Very good, very good hand in uh, Saron. I don't think that that deck's a counter to us. I think that, I think that I, like, I'd be pretty confident in playing that and winning over half of the time. But not, like, that much more than half the time. They had the cards to win at that time. We're gonna keep the Trifarian Ibex combo. Could see keeping the other Trifarian, but I. Wanted to find one of our 8-1 drops for our first attack. No, no, it's not a really powerful wizard. Meme Tier Monday is not filled up. I can fit in more decks. Explosives primed. That egg, did it move? That's a great hapless aristocrat. In position. That's great. I can always, um... I can always go, like, have Tuesday be meme tier also if we have too many meme tier decks. You know, we can play a, a fifth or sixth meme tier deck on Tuesday. Alright, we'll keep the two mana for Pill Cascade. Thank you, they're bruised. For the head. I'm not gonna be playing around ruination. I mean, I, I can't really. Elise, where are you? <clears throat> you can see why this crystal ibex is going to be necessary. Ooh, or I could go Kato. If I play Kato and they just use Vengeance on Kato, that's pretty bad. We'll go the Crystal Ibex because of that. So I still have two uh, Pale Cascades. Nexus! What if you give your Nexus Spell Shield? I think that's something they could have. You know, it's pretty similar to like Denies. I don't know why I'm not attacking with the Ibex. I should be. I don't know, I was kind of thinking the spell. I was thinking about the Nexus spell shield. Sorry, I, yeah, I definitely should be attacking with the Ibex. No reason not to. They would have had one of their one ones block it, so they they would have taken one more point of damage, and then you know one of these would have one extra health. What have you become? Let the 
Ledros plus Atrocity <clears throat> is not easy to beat. So they just have their combo. They got Ledros and Atrocity. I guess they'll probably have this one. I guess I could... Yeah, we could just Pale Cascade here put that back in their hand. Let's do this. Pale Cascade, put the Ledros back in their hand so they can't Atrocity. Well, I tried. I guess if they have. Troll Chant also. The party has arrived. Alright, playing this so that maybe they pass turn to me. Let me attack, let me have Whirling Death to protect against Atrocity. Alright, Ice to meet you. to 11. Time for the money makers. I think I like doing that. I can't really kill them no matter what I choose. They can't play Ledros and Atrocity this next turn. What's my name? They can't do both of those. If I go Captain Farron and they attack with Ledros, I have to block with Captain Farron. It's either that or just go Soldier and Demolitionist and Soldier blocks... It's true, if we keep on killing killing Ledros each turn, they don't get to Atrocity. Okay, well they have another Ledros. That's really annoying. Ugh. Yeah, now the villagers challenge there. I guess we have double decimate. Doesn't kill them. Oh, it doesn't kill them through. Sorry, that doesn't kill them through. Um, you know, like withering whale, grass the undying, all all sorts of things. Like those kind of cards that just gain three life. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. The trolls are going to war! What time is it? Punch it! Ha -ha! Let's boogie! I give you muscles! Grass to Undying is going to be the problem. You got a problem? They look angry! You hoping they'll die of boredom? 
All right. So grass the undying keeps them alive, but they're not going to be able to attack and kill me. Of course, Rex. Always. Okay, well, Tom Ken Shiraka, this was our loss. Cabo says that, that we're countered by this deck. I don't think that we're countered by this deck, but this is going to be our test. Are we countered by this deck or not? I don't know what to do with this hand. I want to just mulligan everything. Fervor may be really important to take down Soraka. Yuck. I want Crystal Ibex or Kato or, you know, things to give this uh, Reckless Trifarian Overwhelm. Yeah, no, I, I like Ibex more than than Bacillus Grider. Ibex um, is like I don't think you can play Reckless Trifarian without Ibex. Basically, I think if if we're not playing Ibex, we can't play Trifarian. No one's the wiser. Or like, you know, like they're they're like a package. Like, Trifarian's not good enough without Ibex, in, in my opinion. Follow the horizon. Punish transgressions. Alright, so they're playing Soraka. I play Grenadier. I can kill Soraka by blocking with Grenadier and then fervor one of these other things to kill Soraka. Well, they are down to 12. I don't want to see the 2 7. That's pretty rough. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna have I'm gonna just have these fervors go upstairs. I will find the goodness Yuck. of the king. Who only provides temporary sustenance, child? Where there's a will, there's a meal. Devotion to battle. Well, they did a great job drawing their champions. Again, having you know, champion on three, champion on four. You are better than this. The problem with targeting Soraka is, you know, cards like Guiding Touch. I guess force them to have that. Guiding Touch to the Nexus basically heals them anyway, so maybe they don't have Guiding Touch. I'm going to force them to have it. Because I don't think we have to kill them immediately, considering we have Captain Farron. I don't think I have to rush to kill them. Very happy how that worked out. Appetizers of plenty. It's too late now. If they don't break, they'll burn. Shepherding look easy. And this is the reason why we don't want to just go upstairs. Broadback Protector just basically cast Deny on Nocturne Fervor each time that we play it going upstairs. Where there's a will, there's a meal. Blast him. They're not drawing a card off of that. Go upstairs means targeting the Nexus. Another path, another problem. Upstairs to the face. So what's in store for me? I need time for commune, Tom. This you know. This you know. I'll protect you. 
brave. Captain Ferris, you're our captain. You're gonna have to win this game. So what's in store for me? I need time for commute time. This you know. This you know. At least they, they did that card correctly. <laughs> Last time I cast Bayou Brunch yesterday, remember I had my Sprayfin eat my Tom Kench. <laughs> I was like, whoops. Did it the wrong way. Okay, trade, trade for River for Bastion. River Not a bad trade. Uh. I'm not expecting 2 1 and 2 3 to defeat me. So I think I'm okay making that trade. Yes, I am. Two and one. Captain Farron. Every deck I play is so bad against Frostbite. <laughs> Frostbite midrange is so great. Uh, our Lee Sin Zed deck is terrible against Frostbite midrange, and even this deck. So, like, this deck we're going big, not going wide. You know, like, we're trying to make big Overwhelm things, and... Do you know what's the weakness of big overwhelm things? Yep, frostbite. That is the weakness of big overwhelm things. Bless the people and fear the heretics. Follow the horizon. <laughs> you think you've lost every single game to this Ash deck? I know. This I'm pretty close it. to it too. I have a really. I have a. Incredibly high win rate whenever I play this deck, and playing against it, I have an incredibly low win rate. Coming in hot! Just works out like that. A true Fragorian welcome. Punish transgressions. Attack. Mind See what's up. Okay, no Frostbite card. Yeah, no Brittle Steel, Elixir of Iron, Troll Chant, nothing like that. Don't necessarily have anything to Ibex right now, I guess. Legion Grenadier. Victory requires a sharp blade. Don't necessarily want to trade my Ibex for that sharp blade. They could be going, they could be trying to set up Reckoning. Yep, which does kill those three, but wouldn't kill the Ibex. Or like, you know, it doesn't kill Ibex because I didn't play Ibex. Alright, they're down to eight. Captain Farron, where are you at? All the world on one arrow. Yuck. Guess it's Ibex. <laughs> I think Legion Grenadier is too easy to like brittle steel. If I try blocking Ash with that. Troll Chant gets me either way.
Definitely see them going set, setting up harsh winds this turn. Carved from the savage cold. Sejuani. Explosives primed. Not likely Brittle Steel. I don't think Brittle Steel is too likely because I think if they had Brittle Steel, they would have saved Ash. No, they couldn't have saved Ash last turn. Never mind. So they could have Brittle Steel. I want to attack. These Frostbite cards are so rough. Attack, we may just do nothing. You like just passing? Just give them more turns to draw Frostbite cards? I'm gonna attack. So they can't have Harsh Winds, so worst case scenario... Sejuani's Fury of the North. Okay, I don't, I don't really mind trading with that. So we traded Kato. Like, we traded one drop, so we dealt one damage to them. Kato traded for a Sejuani and dealt five damage to this Sejuani. That's all over... That's overall not so bad. Oh, Trifarian Assessor is bad. Where's our Captain Farron? I liked our Captain Farron. Where, where's that card at? Remember the objectives. For the glory of Noxus. Captain Farron, we need our captain. Yeah, there's a captain. Is there any reason not to play Captain Farron first? They play three one frostbite card. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. Yeah, that's why. That's my plan is open attack, do a little bit of damage, and then Farron, because they probably. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Get a harsh winds out of their hand. I like that. Now we know they can't like. So good things about that. They can't um. Can't culling strike my Captain Farron this turn. But they can't just, like, go wide. They're probably not going to be able to put 20 power in play to kill me this next turn now. Probably. With spending 6 mana on that. You can see the Nebastian border from here. I was really worried about playing Captain Farron. They played the 3-1 to Frostbite it. They Reckoning blow up my whole board. They still have, like, all those things. You know, like, that's how they kill me very quickly. Oh, they could still kill me. Is that 20 power? That's only... That's 18 power right now. That's only 18 power. So they need an extra 2 power. So that probably means playing something else. So there we go. GG's. I am liking it. Uh, Targon plus Noxus. That other Draven deck we're playing is cool. Uh, Draven Taric. It's really cool. This one's really cool. Do we keep Fervor? So we're going to have Soldier, Demolitionist, Ballista. Do we keep Fervor? I'm going to Mulligan Fervor. I have my orders. All right, I guess we wait on Demolitionist. Is the one true light. Thank you, Salt. In Boom. No blocks. Don't want to trade. Speak, stars. Speak, I say. So Iron Ballista would trade with 5-4 Mountain Goat. <laughs> yep. GG's. <laughs> yeah, they. I think they figured out what was about to happen. <laughs> Alright, so there we go. Draven, Overwhelm. This deck's really cool. Um... I'm really glad we put a second Captain Farron at the top end, as we talked about at the end of the, the last video. Um, but yeah, Crystal Ibex, Reckless Trifarian, 
Um, you got some good stuff going on here. This is another another fun one to play, another fast one. Um, you know, something a little different from what other people are playing too. So that's Dra Draven Overwhelm, Crystal Ibex, still MVP. Um, which I guess Captain Farron maybe also MVP, but <laughs> got some good stuff. We didn't even get any 10 power D Dariuses, you know, like we also just have like 10 power Darius, which is a ridiculous card, and we didn't even get to do that to anybody. But anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. If you've been trying this deck out yourself, let me know how it's been going for you. Um, I would always appreciate that. Um, but uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.